What's up? I was ready to get their mobility on. We're gonna start with a warm up. It is six moves. You can do this by itself. I'm only gonna do it once because I walked for a few minutes on the treadmill. Uh, and then we're gonna go into the mobility workout, which is going to be three circuits of three moves. We'll do them three times. And you don't need any equipment other than a block. This is great if you are doing workouts that are a bit more intense. This can be good for active recovery or just a little bit of extra mobility work by itself. I'm doing this as my primary workout. I'm trying to sort of get back into the swing of things still. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go get my block because I forgot it. And um, we're going to get started. All right, we are going to start where I always start the first two, dead bugs and bird dogs. So whatever variation of dead bug you're most comfortable with, you can just do legs, you can get the arms involved. We're gonna do 10 per side. Take that pelvis, tilt it in, get it nice and tight. We're gonna inhale on the lower, exhale up. is comfortable for you. You can just go with a little bit of lifting. You can extend all the way out. You can extend and keep that to hold balance. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do 10 on each side and we're going to go one side at a time. So get into your tabletop over wrists. Make sure that pelvis don't, none of this, right? None of this. Pop it into place. Get that core in. And here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. for a second. All right. Let's warm up our hamstrings a bit. We go into a low lunge and strength flow here. Same thing we're going to do 10 on each side. Bye. 
eyes together. strong and we're gonna rock back and go forward rock back only go as far as feels good for you you can go further out more for the inner thighs. We're going to get down into Malasana squat. We're going to push against the inside of the knees and just rock back and forth. Feel yourself sort of opening into each hip as you go in. All right, we're gonna end this in a little down dog plank flow. Really open up through the rest of the body. So go ahead and just pedal and down dog for a second, get comfortable. Push away from the ground. 
that pelvis popped. All right. workout of your block. We are going to start with bridge with our blocks. We're going to do eight of these. Get that pelvis in neutral. Everything here stays straight. engagement back here to protect that low back and we're gonna keep a double chin we're gonna exhale again. I'm going to do seated hip flexion. So go ahead and start with the block under one leg. I'm just going to tap to the side. Cover the leg. It's really going to challenge the hip flexors. to bridge if you need a little something to drink. All right, 
eight of these. Same thing, get an awareness of that pelvis, just give a little pop, put a wrinkle on the front of that shirt. Take a big inhale, and on the exhale, squeeze. Inhale, two. Pelvis placement. Inhale. One. Two. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice and straight. Try to keep the foot flexed toward the sky. Exhale in. We always want to exhale when we are exerting the most effort, which is pulling the leg back in. So we're going to inhale, exhale. Two more. Two. Be glad when we're done with this one, right? All right, last one bridge with block. Oh, 
Last one. Okay. Let's finish with our hip flexion. circuit. Take a 30 second break, grab a drink, go a little stretch. hip love. So as it says, about 90 degrees here. I'm just going to switch. I'm going to do eight on each side. Seven. You may not lean at all, you may just do this, and that's okay. I like to lean into it, give it a little bit more. Last two. Double chin to protect the neck, get the shoulders down the back, away from the ears. And then alternate sides. sucked. Take a breather. Get repositioned. Now 
90-90s, eight per side. We'll start. Done. Notice if you have tightness in one hip versus the other, your right hip is always tighter. And I'll notice that. Internal rotation, that's what I was, I'll notice it on the internal rotation. I drew a blank. All right, let's go into swimmers. These are great for our entire posterior, and guess what? We have core muscles in our back. These are great for our back core muscles. All right, eight per side. Let's do it. done. Exhale. Last one. All right. Now we have the dreaded plank. Set it. Am I supposed to talk to you during this? I can't talk during plank, guys. Gales, everything in between. All I can do is think about how this makes me want to die a little bit. Not really, but you know. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So much regret. All right, last round. I like to put the worst circuit right in the middle. All right, 90 90s, let's go. Eight, seven, six, basically doing here, like I was sort of saying before, we are internally and externally rotating our hips, alternating sides, which is great to open them up and increase mobility. And we're done. All right, last round of swimmers.
I'm not gonna think about the fact that we have plank after that. We're just not gonna think about it. All right, again, we're gonna inhale everything down and exhale up, so. Just a little bit higher each time. We're done. All right. Are you mentally prepared for this last plank? I don't know if I am. Let's do it. away from the floor. Don't let yourself sink. And don't let that low back sink. Keep that core tucked. And again, trying to kind of hug the inner thighs together helps with that. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Okay, take a breather. Before we hit this last circuit, I'm gonna grab a fan. All right, last circuit. We're gonna need some room on the side of us. So we're gonna start in tabletop. We're gonna do some single leg hip work. So we'll get in tabletop. We're gonna put our leg out straight. We're gonna lift it on the exhale. Three, four, six times total, five, six. And then we're gonna kick it back. Make sure to get that hip down toward the floor. We're gonna kick up. Four, same thing, six. Five, six. So for this, we want to actually try to keep 90 degrees and above. Don't let it fall down. We're trying to keep that tension. So we're going to do the same thing, switch sides. I've got to do this so I have room. Put leg out straight. Make sure that pelvis, don't let it let it hit the ceiling. We want to pop it back into place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kick it back. Shoulder cars, 
and maybe some reaching back. We're gonna see how we feel. So get down on your stomach. Yeah. So see how you feel. If you're feeling like doing a reach back, give it a little stretch first. We're gonna go each side. So we're gonna do eight per side. Touching. That's okay. We are where we are. The goal here is not to, we want the only movement really to be our shoulder here. Okay, so we're not doing any of the lifting, we're just letting the shoulder do the work. Just go all the way down like this. Five. seconds per side. You can go into a variation if you'd like. You can go all the way. You can do a lower side plank, whatever your preference. So I'm going to start a timer because keep everything in the core tight. Keep those hips. Don't let them Fall toward the ground, push away from the floor the whole time. You can look up if you want. I might lose balance. All right. I'm gonna switch sides. and do our hip work. This is protein coffee. You do not have to consume your protein right after a workout. You just need to consume protein at some point during the day. So, I'm drinking it during my workout because that's what works for me. Do what works for you. Can you hear the endorphins kicking in? We're not even doing high intensity work. It's like so annoying how good this makes you feel. All right, six rounds of our tabletop hip work. If this is hard on your wrists, you can go on your fists instead. Get everything nice and 
out to the side, and let's exhale up, and we'll go for six here. All right, let's take it back and do six. Turn our 90 degrees, keep it there. Five, four, three, two, Remember, don't let that low back fall while you're here, okay? You're gonna hurt that low back. The core. And okay, if you have to feel like you have to curl in like this, do that. That's better than letting it, you know, this isn't like a sexy photo shoot, okay? Oh, I need to switch sides. I was too busy talking about sexy photo shoots. All right. regular shoulder cars. Look, that's how it goes sometimes, right? Sometimes you plan to do one thing. It just doesn't really work out the way you thought it would. So that's okay. We're gonna redirect. The idea here, when you hit about your midline, you're gonna let your palms flip upward, okay? We're gonna uh, Full range of motion here with our shoulder. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, two more. Last one. Okay. Freaking side planks. Why did I put so many planks in this? Really regretting this, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Well, let's just do it. Can I hire someone to come over and just do timers for me? I'm just kidding, sort of. All right, 30 seconds each side. Ready to go. Shoulders are on fire. Okay. I can't give you a, like a countdown warning because I can't see my freaking watch. You know what I mean? All right. Just do it. Just freaking do it. Okay, let's go. This is another area where you can sort of notice imbalances. My right shoulder is a lot stronger. And that makes sense because my left side is where I have issues. It's elevated from shitty posture and just repetitive movements on my left side. Done. So again, anytime we're doing work on one side of the body, it's great to just pay attention to where it feels different. We don't have to be in... Sometimes we have to improvise the other camera overheated. Uh, all right, so 
last round of this last circuit. Uh, tabletop, leg, stuff. There we go. down here same thing right we don't if we just let it kind of flimsy it's gonna hurt our lower back so just again squeeze the inner thighs toward each other kind of squeeze those glutes just a little bit side plank. I hope you can see me. I can't see anything on my phone. I don't know if you can see me. But don't show her. She's going swimmingly. I'm going really well. Really good last minute plan today. Freaking left side. Almost there. Hang on. Push away from that floor. Okay, set for 30 minutes or 30 seconds. Okay. All right. This is it. Let's finish this freaking workout. Maybe this is like an act of recovery for you, in which case, God love you. Okay.